this is a little naive of a question yeah. because we've never done it in the United States. Walk me through what happens if we do default on our loan. It's different when it's the US. So when Argentina defaulted or when Greece defaulted, okay, it's a small country, third world country defaulting on its debt. But you think about all the countries holding US sovereign debt on their balance sheets mm -hmm. and it becomes a cataclysmic worldwide event. And that's bigger why than that. it's bigger than it's that. because it means that everything goes to zero. So it's not going to happen. You know, you know what it is? It's like if the aliens invade Earth, mm -hmm. I have a feeling that Russia and Ukraine will fight the aliens together. You know, it's that kind of uh, like, yeah, right. you're, talking about, you're talking about something that's so big and so macro that if it happens, yeah. everybody will fight together to make sure the Democrats and the Republicans will become best friends in making sure that it doesn't happen. I think it's even worse. So he's saying that all of these uh, uh, global governments have these T-bills as an example on their balance sheet. So first and foremost, you have to differentiate. Are you talking about defaulting on payments, like they just have to close down some parks and stuff? Or are you talking about default that these uh, T-bills are maturing and they literally can't pay back their T-bills? Because those are two completely separate questions. So let's just go down that path that for whatever reason, the U.S. says, okay, we're not paying back our, our T-bills. Those T-bills that you have that are maturing, sure. you can go ahead and pound sand. So not only are they on the balance sheet of these central banks, but more importantly, they're the underpinning of the global monetary system.